let's take a look and see how the survey works now when we're also going to do just a little bit more. So in the past, we've had a rod reading from an instrument set in the middle and we've measured the angle and the distance to the rod but we haven't taken an elevation yet so let's see how the elevation looks if this is my instrument and it's perfectly level so that when I read the rod if I knew how high this was let's say this was at 20 feet okay so let's say this point here, right here, was 20 feet above my reference level. Then if I took that 20 feet and subtracted what my rod reading was, I'd have the actual elevation of the ground. Okay, so let's go over that again. I've got an instrument. This time I'm going to draw it in. I've got an instrument that I know how high my instrument is from my zero, zero, zero point for the project. I know that height. It's called the HI, height of the instrument. And I get that with something called a backsight reading. I got a big, tall, long rod, and I look backwards and I stick that rod right on my zero, zero point, and I read it. And whatever my rod reads from here to here is my backsight reading, and that is how high my instrument is. Then, if I know how high my instrument is, and I stick another rod on the ground, then my height of my instrument minus that rod reading is the elevation at that point. Height of the instrument minus my rod reading. And that one's called a foresight. I'm looking forward to new data. My back sight is looking backwards to other data. So let's see how that looks on here. Okay. I have the angle and the distance to my back sight. And I have a backsight rod reading, and it was stuck on my zero, zero point. So that means the height of my instrument, the backsight at zero, zero, the height of my instrument is 27. So all the rest of the way down, I'm going to put 27 for the height of my instrument, because I'm not moving it. I've just got it right there. I'm not moving it. I've looked backwards. my zero zero point I've seen it's 549 feet away at an angle of 118 so that lets me know where to put this point and it's at an elevation of 27 now every time I take a rod reading here it says 7 27 minus 7 is the actual elevation Okay, so let me zoom in on that a little bit. Okay. So let's take a look at that again. Let's look at my 1.02, which is this point right here. Okay, the height of my instrument is 27 feet above my zero, zero point. And when I look at the rod, I see the number six. From my height down to the ground is six. So 27 minus six is 21. When I take my next one, which is really 103. When I take my next one, my rod reading is 5. So it's 27 minus 5. The elevation at 103 right here is 22 feet. 
So you're going to make these right along here. You're going to use this data this time. Then once you can do this, I'll let you go out and get rod readings in the game. But let's just get it with some basic data that I've plugged in for you. I'm giving you this data. Then you're going to have to go back and get it for real on your own. So then once you've got this data, this is already drawn. These are these are the same. You're just going to put in your data points, your your donuts, and you're going to write the elevation that you've calculated. That's how you use these survey records.